Hello and welcome to this week's video. This week's video, we're we'll continuing our hop ups on the 124019. This week's concentrate on the bumper, front and rear. These are LC Racing bumpers. Quick note about them they do not come with any hardware. So, some of your hardware you can reuse, some you have to replace because there's no, nothing like it. You're going to need some screws for the front and rear. I'll discuss that in the video. Please enjoy. And if you can, like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Thank you. In this video, we're going to see about adding bumpers to the front and back of the 124019 before we do the speed runs. And I just got to finish up the electronics. These are from LC Racing. Comes with both bumpers front, rear, and small supports. There's a difference in the supports. One has a much more definite slope in the middle of it. Dip. If you want the larger dip goes to the rear. Smaller dip goes to the front. And what we'll need to do move the first two screws. Lo loosen the second two screws. That now gives us enough room to slide out the bumper. It's there now. We'll install the support on the front here. And bottom there. So I'll get started with this. Let's we'll see how it goes. Straight out here. This is bolts. Back to you. you need to loosen them up, but give them a good three or four turns. So it takes the pressure off the frame. These two here you gotta take all the way out. This just sl simply slides out. I say that it it's hung up. There. I'll just slide in like that, and I'll be the front bumper on it. Or you can actually put the rear bumper as the front bumper. But I just don't like here for that look. Tell me what you think. Um, leave a comment. I can always switch them back out. Then we'll go with the smaller one. First thing we'll do is let's get this guy in here, make it easier. Move these two bolts, the screws there. I'm sure we can install these back without having to replace the screws. They got a good amount of travel. Enough to go through the thing uh, upright back into the frame. I should say the frame, but the temperature housing. The one thing they don't do is provide you with any screws. So it's nice if you have a set of um, either screws you have left from other projects. I have a pack of screws here I bought off the, um, Amazon. I think they call it the WL Toys pack or something, something to that effect. You got most things you'll need for WL Toys. 
and the proper size for WL toys. It was like 20 bucks. I ordered it a good while back. Just have on hand. A couple of screws out of that. They'll fit. And a bumper on the bottom. Okay, two screws in the bottom here. I've always said I stopped short when I'm using electric scooter, I've always stopped short of getting them fully tight and I'll tighten them down with the by hand. You know, mess up plastic by over tightening them. Turn the back of them down first. There we go. What you think? And the back one's basically the same thing. It's a little more complicated because you have to, if you're going to maintain the rear wing, is this has to go underneath this post here. So you have to remove the whole rear wing portion, put this post on, and screw it all back together. So I'll start that process. I won't bore y'all me watching it, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all back together. I'm not sure how other people might have done this, but what I the bracket did not want to fit with the holes lined up properly because the roundness of how the bottom of the this was. So I trimmed off the edges. Trimmed off a little bit of the flat across there. So they get the holes lined up. So yeah, we'll try putting it on. It's about doing these screws in the bottom now. Pretty much the same procedure as the front. So you got the back, just a little square piece. Oh, this is barely ream those out a little bit. Nothing major. It would be just fine. Grab a couple screws for the back here and we'll be done. I think I'll do it. If 
Body bag on. Put the right on. Yeah. So front bumper. Rear bumper. Kind of hidden underneath the wing there, but I gotta stiffen the wing up. It looks good. Let me know what you think. Should I switch the front bumper and the rear bumper? Just that just see how high it is. It makes it stick up about this high on the front. So it's kind of goofish. And we'll go with this. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.